Hello YouTube, I've got this hard drive in for data recovery and it shows me the same problems that every other hard drive show me, doesn't detect, is unresponsive, freezes the computer up. But this one has something different wrong with it. Let me show you further. Now if you don't have a careful eye, you probably won't be able to figure out what's wrong with it but I'm kind of used to putting these down on my desk and handling them so they become very obvious to me when there's something wrong physically. Um, first I'll show you, I've got one here that's the same. And basically, if it's on a desk, it sits nice and flat. I do a corner to corner test to see if it wobbles. I'll flip it over on both sides. Now if you go back to the one that's faulty that's come in, if I go corner to corner, okay, you got a little bit of movement there. That's not good. Let's try the other direction. And it's even worse. Let's flip it over, have a look. Corner to corner. Yes, it should be flat. Most of these are machined flat. Not too bad, that side. But this corner, it's even worse. So the actual hard drive aluminium chassis is bent. Someone has either sat on this, stood on it, it's been in a backpack and it's physically bent, they may not know. So let's get to work and get some data off it. I'm going to reprogram the BIOS chip so I can convert it to SATA. So now I've converted this USB PCB to be a SATA PCB with this special unlock board. So we'll see if we can access the drive again. So here I've been able to turn the drive on and load the utility. Everything has detected correctly, that's a good thing, but we do see some defects assigned here in red. Uh, let's check the smart table for issues. Okay, there you go, we do have problems. We got current pending sector, we got 57 detected issues at the moment. So this drive does have problems still. Uh, let's see if we can access the um, user data area. Let's go to 2048, which is the block address for where the file table probably is. Yes, it is, and it's NTFS, and it's reading okay. So I'll create a task and see if I can image the data in the next step. So we're going to make a data recovery task. And select it, file image, yep. Wait for the drive to load up. We're gonna create a map of every single sector that's on this hard drive so that when we do clone it, we know where everything is. So first things first, let's create a heads map just in case. This is a hard drive that's bent, so we want to have all these safety precautions before we start our imaging work. So a heads map is when I can isolate different heads inside the hard drive. So I can turn one off or skip one if there's any problems. So now you can see on the right, we've got zero, one, two, three heads. Um, and let's see if we can load the, the data now. We'll have a look at the map while we're trying to load it. So green is good, white is not red yet. GPT, partition system, there we go. We got a Windows NTFS and it's a My Passport. See if we can load this, we can. Uh, we'll check it to see if there's any errors. Okay. It is reading. We are seeing green little boxes for every sector that it reads. That's a good sign. So it seems to be responding okay so far. I'll come back in a second when that's done. Okay, so we've finished scanning the master file table and we did run into some issues. If I scroll down, you can see some of these black sectors are these issues that were reported in the smart. So overall, not bad. We do have access to the data now, and we can start the cloning process. It's 
So we'll build a map of every single file that the customer wants and we'll start to copy it off and give it back. I'll see you guys in the next video.